welcome back to my channel my name is Veronica and we are in the car today so I'm not gonna do a super long intro um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this video is very lax and I know I've been getting such sweet messages from you guys saying don't worry about like having all this professional film content just do what you can and make stuff short just we just love seeing you and I have been taking too long of days in between my videos I don't enjoy that just because I got in such a routine of posting like three to four times a week and I saw such a tremendous growth by doing that so I'm going to be picking that up again, but it's probably not going to start until uh, next week. So, <laughs> just because I'm super busy and I'm going to stockpile some videos and then hopefully we're back out with um, some stuff. So, while I'm here, I got some Froyo. Oh, hopefully you guys can see that. It has fruity pebbles on it, cheesecake, and chocolate, this chocolate stick thing that I used to love as a kid. I know you guys are like, Veronica, you're lactose intolerant. You're right. And you're allergic to milk. You're right. You're double right. Um, the ones that I get, I think one of them is dairy free and then the other one is not, but it's low in fat and low in milk. And so it's like a little bit. So it does make my stomach hurt, but <laughs> it's worth it. Um, I always get Fruity Pebbles because I just love Fruity Pebbles on my Froyo. I don't know why. Normally, Lewis and I do this together, but he is unavailable right now. Um, so, he is doing him and doing something. So, I thought, you know what? I should come out here and film this video because I haven't talked to YouTube in a while and I miss YouTube. Heavenly Father, please bless this Froyo. In your name we pray. Amen. Update on life and everything because I know I love watching people's updates. And I took a break from ordering furniture and stuff because one, cost effectiveness. I'm not going to buy everything outright because you want to kind of accrue it at a time. And the biggest thing is I'm setting my whole open concept room off of my couch because my couch is a huge staple piece and it's the most expensive piece that's probably gonna be in our home because it's so it's a custom-made couch I mean it's not custom-made like ooh, no one else has this like custom-made is they make one at a time or they're made to order hold on let me take a bite <laughs> it's so good it's cold I remember my last Froyo video our last Froyo video someone was like in the comments duh Veronica it's cold like what did you expect I don't know like I don't know if my teeth are just sensitive but some things are just too cold for me and this is like what was I saying oh yeah furniture so I'm basing everything off of my couch because it's the statement piece of the great room and you don't want to have pieces that don't make sense and because our couch won't be here for such a long time, I don't wanna purchase stuff that don't make sense. So I think I'm just gonna start focusing on the bedroom and get that together. We haven't even, we've been sleeping with Lewis's old ugly blue comforter <laughs> and I can't stand that thing, but I'm glad we didn't throw it away because we wanna have a comforter because I sold and got rid of everything. So I think I'm gonna order this comforter and I'm gonna do this color scheme that I really wanna do for the bedroom I need night we need nightstands I sold our nightstands everything um and then the other stuff we ordered won't be here for a long time as well so it's like it's kind of frustrating but I get it because of the pandemic I totally understand I guess it's just kind of frustrating when you're I don't know for me I like to feel settled in we have only been living here for literally one month like it's one month on the dime this week is officially one month living in our apartment so I need to be a little bit more patient but it's just so frustrating because when I want things I have to like wait and I need to get my beauty room together oh my gosh it's a disaster already in there so I need to order a couch for that room and I need to put some stuff in my drawers I did get my desk finally um, so it's really nice. I'm not gonna show you guys until I do the beauty room tour. Like there's no point in me doing anything. It's working as my student desk actually right now. So um, Lewis put it together. It took him two days to put it together. So 
I'm supposed to be eating. This is, it's like I want to update you, but I'm supposed to be eating. And then the entryway, I think it's because it's too cold. I know you guys are like, Veronica, but I'm like, ugh. I think it's because I love hot food and hot drinks so much. I drink them so often that having something this cold, I'm like, whoa. I've been working out six days a week. Proud of myself. Back like I never left. I've been doing a more weight training program this time, which I think is gonna help me because I noticed I lost all of my muscle mass, so I need to build that back up. And yeah, so I'm excited to show you guys our fitness routine and eating healthy. We've been eating super healthy. That's not gonna come until a month or two months from now because I'm a big, I hate showing people stuff and I haven't tested out or seen results and one week of working out six days a week and maybe two weeks of eating healthy is not actually we've been eating healthy a little bit longer than that but that is not results so I need to do another 30 days before I show you guys anything I just did this air salmon recipe it was not a recipe olive oil salt and pepper and stuck it in there it was really good and it was a quick way for me not to like have all these pans going because I've been doing all the cooking. Lewis will cook. He's a, and I love, I love that about him. He'll cook if I'm like, I'm too tired. But I pretty much do all the cooking and he, he'll pick up, but I do like the deep cleaning. Like Sunday, he was like, <laughs> I was cleaning. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm cleaning. He's like, why are you still cleaning? I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude, but men are so clueless. Like, y'all think that taking a rag and just wiping is cleaning. Like, no, you gotta scrub it, bleach it, then spray some good stuff on it, wipe it down. Whew, it takes me forever. I really wanna go to Home Goods. Home Goods is now officially open, so I really wanna go. I would go today, but. Let me look. Because if there's ones, if there is one close, I'm going. Where I'm at, which is weird, um, it has like no signal over here. I've never seen this before. In fact, I'm next to an AT&T store, which is my service provider. And everywhere else, I have 5G. Here, I have no signal. It's the weird thing. Lewis doesn't have signal here either it's weird I won't I can't even look up to see how far home goods is I guess that's a sign I don't need to go I'm so sorry for the lapse in videos I've just been honestly busy like school is my job and I forgot to mention in the video I filmed but someone asked in the comments am I still getting paid like am I still in I'm 100% still getting paid I'm 100% still in and basically instead of paying me and I'm at work I'm paying they're paying me and I'm at school and it's a military school so they chose you they pick the school on stuff so it's not like I'm just like woo you know and um, that's a big deal and very soon I'm promoting and I can't believe it like it's weird that I'm gonna be promoting again and I have a hair appointment. My hair is in plots right now. Well, I went to the gym. I showered. But I keep my hair plotted up because you guys know how it is. And I keep it all the way real. I'm not doing my edges every day. So y'all can be like, oh, she does her edges every day. No. I do not care about that. Um, especially because in the military. Well, now I can't. Well, not with this climate. But, um we wear hats all the time so I'm not gonna be gelling down my edges having to wash them so it doesn't get product build up and then re gelling them every day like no that's not me I text Lewis like hey when you come to the gym wear a mask so when he went to the gym after me later that day um, the guy was like or today the guy was like the health department lady came back in there, which I'm like, since when does the apartment have health department? 
inspections like this. It's crazy, but that's really great. I'm not ragging on the health department at all. That's fantastic that they're doing that. Um, well, this is like, the guy was like, not arguing, but he was like, but the law said if we're working out, we get to not wear a mask. And he's like, I always wear a mask, but this is the one time where I go hard in the gym. And the lady, short little lady was sweet and explained it like, yes, sir, I understand. But for this gym and how it's set up, it would be preferred that you guys wear a mask in here. So, and then she put a, th a sign out, they were putting a sign on the door like, you have to wear a mask in this gym. So it's weird because she said certain gyms, they won't require them, but other gyms they will. So I'm just kind of confused, I guess, like, you know? But I'm just gonna wear a mask no matter what. And that's why I bought, I have my cloth mask, sorry, talking with food. I have my cloth mask and I have these. Cause these are thin enough where you can work out and you're not gonna die. But the cases are getting worse. Like, is this the second wave or? I don't know. But it's crazy how people are arguing over wearing a mask. And you have whole countries who've been wearing masks for years who don't complain. You have people who serve in professions that you have to wear masks for hours on end. They're not complaining. Like, we just need to stop making everything a political debate. It's not politics. It's a health. We're literally in a movie, essentially, like, contagion. Wear your mask, people. Um, okay, back to, I almost said Whole Foods. Home goods. Honestly, I could go to Whole Foods, but Whole Foods is, is expensive. I'm not gonna even tell you guys how much money we spent in Whole Foods, because you would be like, sis. That was a fail. Maybe here soon, because I really want to go to Home Goods. I might do it this weekend, but I have already a lot going on this weekend. Already. And you guys, there will be vlogs and video on that. There's a TJ Maxx, right? Isn't that TJ Maxx? I think we're going to go to TJ Maxx. Ah! That was a sign. Okay, we're going to go in TJ Maxx. I don't know if I'm going to film because it's kind of weird, so we'll see. <sighs> so they closed literally five minutes ago so that is a sign I'm gonna take my booty home and it's a school night anyways I got class in the morning <laughs> but I just wanted to like get out and live my best life but I can't even do that so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog or video it's not a vlog I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because sis has been getting blocked at every which direction <laughs> So this will be out momentarily. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient. I apologize. Now I have the hiccups. Oh, I get the hiccups every day without fail. I don't know if that's like a reflux problem, but every single day since I went to officer training school, I get one hiccup at least a day, every single day. Anyways, like I said, I'm in this video so people can stop looking at me crazy and I can get home. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.